morning folks so uh, yeah just been round the um, round the corner round there uh, you know, I guess you know where we are the media circus over there uh, so nothing much happening but uh, anyway yeah so uh, I was just walking along and I suddenly realized I haven't actually walked along this side of you know, I walked past over there many, 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 many times, but never walked down this little bit. Not that there's any great. But same. Well, I just thought, like, oh, it's an interesting perspective of the of um, Westminster Abbey. Uh, yeah, those buttresses there. That's interesting. I like the architecture. It's pretty cool. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, anyway, like, I mean, this camera people and what have you oh yeah by the way wind as usual no idea whether it's horrendous or not right now and as usual obviously i'll try and minimize as much as i can as much as i think i can uh it's now behind me you see well it's coming slightly behind me in this direction uh so anyway so like i say i was just mooching round and sat on the bench down there had a fag and like I say, it's camera people about and what have you, and I think I saw Nigel Farage, actually. I'm just, I'm, well, I can't say 100%. Uh, he did pass me within a few feet, and I, I kept on looking, but well, I wasn't. I still couldn't quite make out whether it was him or not. I think it might have been Nigel Farage. Uh, you know, he's got, the, he wears those flipping, what's the with the, like, the little dark lapels around the... Uh, not, I don't know if it's a crombie, I don't know what it is, but anyway, that, that sort of style that he wears anyway. Or as I've seen him wear before. Anyway, so again, and it kind of looked like him. So I don't know if it was him or not. But anyway, so I'm sat there and you know having a fag and just you know contemplating the world as usual. And uh, as I was sat there, a thought occurred to me. And I'm thinking like you've got all these media people. Do you know what I mean? Sort of like, uh, and some of like from around the world. Do you know what I mean? You got RT and all sorts of different flipping media outlets, you know what I mean, Blue, uh, Bloomberg and flipping talk radio and, and uh, what, London Broadcasting Company or something and uh, loads of them, different ones, like I said, anyway, so, like, uh, you know, I'm sat there and I just thought to myself, wouldn't it be interesting, you know, because like, they, this day and age, like, people like me and millions of other people are YouTubers, uh, and not just YouTubers, but people with their own iPhones and this, that and the other and all this social media stuff and all the rest of it. And the thing is myself, the only people that get access to the people in power are the corporate media, essentially. It's corporate media. That's the only people that get access to these people, do you know what I mean? And yet, they're supposed to be our representatives uh, and they're supposed to be accountable and answerable to us, the electorate, supposedly. That's supposedly how it's supposed to work. Um, now I know that uh, you know your local MPs and stuff like that. They do what they call surgeries, don't they? Where you know in their local area, you know one day a week, sometimes you know a couple of hours, whatever it is, where local people can go and see their MP and chat about whatever the issue is or whatever. Uh, so you know I'm aware of like that sort of situation, and of course you can write to your MP and so on and so forth. And I know that the public have got some access in, in a sense to to uh, you know the politicians or whatever, but. Like I said, I mean, you know, how many people would be allowed, Tom, Dick and Harry, like me, for instance, say, to be able to interview, like uh, the media does, uh, a politician about something, do you know what I mean? Whatever the subject might be, do you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, isn't, I just thought, like, wow, wouldn't that be really, really cool and, and sort of interesting if, you know, the public... Uh, Tom, Dick and Harry, like I say, and I mean, obviously, I'm not saying like, you know, because obviously you've got to be a bit mindful, a bit bit careful about it, do you know what I mean? Obviously, you know what I mean? You don't want some raving loony sort of going in there and flipping whatever, do you know what I mean? I mean, I get the fact that you've got to have some kind of, uh, you know, I don't know, vetting system maybe, I don't know, whatever. Um, but basically, allow Tom, Dick and Harry, like me, uh, access to you know Jeremy Corbyn or Theresa May or whatever now again I get that these practicalities and so forth and all the rest of it I understand that it's not as simple as I'm making it out to be necessarily but 
uh, like I said, I mean, just something to think about. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, maybe in some way uh, that you allow access for Tom Diganary, like I say, Joe Public, to, you know, uh, have an opportunity to do an actual on-camera interview uh, with the politicians. You know, the, the media get the, get the opportunity to do that. Uh, and, well, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it just literally, it was just a thought off the top of my head. Oh, here we go with the wind again. Yeah, go away, wind. Uh, it was just literally a thought off the top of my head. And, you know, like, I've not really thought it through as such. And like, I'm, I'm sure there's aspects of it that, like, you know, I haven't thought of right now and what have you sort of thing. But I just thought it was an interesting thought that popped into my head. And I'm thinking, like, hmm, yeah. Why can't the public get sort of access in that sense to you know interview our representatives essentially so yeah. anyway yeah you see i told you I, when i come round here i can't help it I, I get like politically minded and i guess it i suppose in some ways it's kind of like natural in a way because i am at the seat of my government do you know what i mean uh i am at the seat of British politics right now, you know what I mean? So the, ha the Westminster Palace is right in front of me, uh, and that is the seat of government in this country. So I suppose in that sense, uh, it's hardly surprising. And because we've got the media circus just down the road there, uh, so I guess, you know, it's only natural that your thoughts, anybody really essentially, I, I suppose, uh, would naturally incline in that direction to some degree at least. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh man, that would be cool though. I would. I, I think that would be excellent. I'd love to interview, especially Corbyn. I'd love to speak to Corbyn. I really would. I really would love to speak to him. Uh, I'd love to get the opportunity and chance to actually, you know, face to face, actually speak to him, just for a half an hour or something. Do you know what I mean? Just a sit down, chat. And it doesn't even have to be on camera, actually. I, you know, I mean, you know, interviewing him would be even better in that sense. But um, I, do, I really would love to have a sit-down chat with Corbyn. I really would, to be quite honest. But anyway, uh, so for the time being, uh, this is your roving reporter uh, from uh, the Palace of Westminster signing off, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi, folks. Yeah, I've been wandering around, wandering around, and uh, I'm just trying, you know, there's nowhere interesting to, well, there is, but it's where you can gain access sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just thinking, like, you know, I really want to, I'm, I'm kind of bored of filming the same things over and over. Uh, and I just want somewhere interesting to film. Uh, look at this ship, by the way. Is that a Norwegian flag on that? Uh, it looks like a Norwegian flag, but I have no idea off the top of my head. Uh, interesting ship, mind you. It's got uh, the ensign, ensign on the back of it. Is a British flag thing, isn't it? So, uh, I have no idea. But, cool, cool model ship, anyway. Uh, I mean, I know it's difficult to see again because of reflection. You always get that anyway. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, thanks. Noise, noise, noise. Yeah, interesting. And, uh, and there's a model aircraft here as well on this side. I have no idea what this building is, by the way, so I'll just... Yeah, well, what is that? Would that be a, a Dakota or a De Havilland? Maybe I don't know. I'm not an expert in these things. Uh, oh, mind you, it's got an English flag on it as well. What's that say? Cat. Oh, I can't read it properly. Something. What does it say? Something. Cat. I can't read it. Cat. Capre Pacific Airways. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all. Oh, hang on. Oh no, it's up there. Cat Hay. Cat Hay? Cat Hay. Cat Hay Pacific Airways. Hmm, oh, never heard of them. I wonder if they even exist anymore. What's that saying? Hang on. The China Mai. 
navigation or something on the top of that map over there, by the way. If he was wondering what I was reading. Yeah. Cool airplane though. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway. Right. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can't you tell I'm sort of running out of uh, things to film and talk about? Well, not exactly, but, you know. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, I'm just, I really want somewhere interesting to film. That's another reason why I'm definitely going to do um, Stonehenge tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty set on doing that now. Uh, it, it, it's working out though, it's going to be, it's probably going to be a little bit pricey to be quite honest, where, one way or another. 42 quid train to Salisbury. Then what I'm working out from, because uh, it's about nine miles, I was checking on the Google Maps, it's about nine miles. Uh, from Salisbury uh, and when I googled it it reckons it would take you about um, was it oh, it did say and all I've forgotten already uh, a good few hours anyway uh, it might have been about two and a half hours or something I think to walk it uh, so I don't really fancy that uh, and then the only other way of getting to the stones from Salisbury is some sort of coach thing because apparently because I was checking on TripAdvisor as well um, and it was saying on there that like, like there might have been local buses years ago, but like there's no local buses go down there anymore. Uh, and so you got this uh, this coach um, service or whatever. Good morning. Uh, and you've got this coach service that, um, and like uh, they do tours. I think it's every hour or whatever it is uh, that go down there, and it's 15 quid. Do you know what I mean? So it's 15 quid just to go on the coach, just to get back down to the stones. Uh, so, you know, so on top of that, so what's that? That's 42, 52, 57 quid just to get there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's, it's pricey. It's pricey. So it's 57 quid just to get to the stones. And then, like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I saw, what it said on TripAdvisor. I'm not gonna bother with the visitor centre thing. I'm just gonna walk from the car park, hopefully, because uh, because because I don't know whether or not uh, if you book one of these tours or you get on the bus and it takes you there, uh, whether you have to stay with the tour thing or or what. I don't know. I don't know what the SP on that is yet. Um, so. Yeah, uh, but I still want to do it because, like I say, I want to go somewhere interesting, somewhere different, do something different. You know what I mean? Instead of the same old, same old, you know? Because uh, I don't know about you guys. I mean, I know some of you enjoy these uh, vlogs and stuff, but I'm just getting bored, to be quite honest. And I need to do something new and different. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I think start heading to work actually uh, in fact we'll go this way uh, so yeah in fact I'm gonna just keep the vlog going for now uh, mind you I'm just like I say it's this flipping wind is a pain in the bum man because uh, you know turn around one corner there's a big gust of wind oh boy anyway uh, I'm turning the camera this way for a minute in the hopes that uh, it doesn't sound as bad and because as I said, I think I'm pretty sure the microphone is on this side. And then that way, hopefully, you'll be able to hear me. Uh, so, but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting really bored. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds like I'm sort of moaning and, well, I am in the way. <laughs> I am moaning, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, Ah, oh boy. Yes, so, like I said, I just want to, I want somewhere interesting to film. And, and, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I really need to get my finger out and just find something and, you know, make a, a, a more of an effort, if you like. Right, we're going to get blasted by wind, no doubt, and we'll come out into this open bit. Uh, more than likely, hang on, we'll walk around this junk here. Here we go with the wind, you see. You can't escape it. I mean, I know they say that 
like each month seems to have a, its own peculiar or particular uh, saying, or at least we do anyway in this country, I don't know about other countries, but you know, so we like April showers, March winds, and of course we're in March at the moment, hence the winds. <laughs> so, but uh, it'd be nice at some point to not have wind blowing everywhere. <sighs> Sorry. I, I know, it's like, at the moment I'm just waffling like, a, like an idiot, you know? And uh, just, you could almost say basically I'm vlogging just for the sake of vlogging, essentially. And this bus thing here. <laughs> uh, oh God, I mean, I swear to God, I really need something. Oh, we'll go with the wind again. Right. Okay, folks. Uh, I think I will end the vlog here just for the time being. Uh, and uh, yeah. So for now, I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi folks. So, just like I said, all today, it's just been about wandering around and just trying to think where can I go and do an interesting vlog and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so walking through Victoria Station, because I've not ventured far from the shop today, actually, when you think about it, not ventured that far. Uh, but anyway, yeah, look. They've got these new benches. Look at this. Right, so they've got these wooden slat benches, right, that look very similar. They're not the same as, but similar to uh, the benches uh, at um, Batsy. Uh, and I thought, oh, you know, it's like they, they've uh, nicked the Batsy bench idea, uh, kind of thing. And uh, you know, I thought, like, mm, well, obviously, we've got to try it, we've got to see just how comfortable they are. They're not bad. I'll give it that, they're actually not that bad. Uh, they're reasonably comfortable. Um, they're much better than the uh, flipping metal chairs over there, let's put it that way. Uh, most definitely. Uh, I'll show you the metal chair in a minute. But, uh, yeah, actually, they're not bad. But, like I said, those ones are Batsy, man. I mean, I guess it's because they're kind of like reclining almost, you know what I mean? It's literally like a reclining chair and the fact that it swivels round as well uh, but uh, yeah flipping heck so like I say they've decided to nick the idea from Batsy maybe eh but actually yeah they're not bad they're not bad in terms of comfortability um, they're not too bad uh, but yeah so I'll show you the uh, metal ones now but yeah so these are the uh, new benches eh cool Okay, at least they're uh, nicer to look at as well. But uh, look, these are the metal chairs. And um, you can see, uh, these, well, same metal actually. I think they're metal. Yeah, 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 they are metal. I thought they were. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, these new wooden ones are definitely more comfortable. Right, okay, so for the time being, uh, I'll leave it there and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.
there. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> I just not only, well, not only noticed, I noticed this yesterday when, we walked, when I walked past here, but uh, I didn't vlog it at the time. We had security dudes hanging around and they can, they can be so funny sometimes about filming stuff. They really can. It's interesting. But yeah, look, Fight Club. <laughs> it's obviously, it says social, hang on, social darts. Social darts. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, some sort of shop, I have no idea what it is exactly. Uh, but it's called Fight Club. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, so it's like the film, isn't it? <laughs> First rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so it's uh, getting on for about half past nine, so I'm kind of just going to wander right back round and then head back to work. Um, and then that's it for the time being until later on. Uh, so, for the time being, I think I'll leave it there and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi folks. <coughs> so, finished my shift and this time on my way home and oh boy super super exhausted because uh, like I said I mean I went to bed at 2 this morning well in fact it's probably more like half past 2 this morning uh, and then I was up again about what quarter to 6 or thereabouts oh hi hi yeah <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I was up at uh, quarter to 6 and uh, and then you know, obviously I've not had a lot of sleep as you can imagine and then obviously a four hour shift and oh man I am super exhausted how the heck I'm standing up right now I'll never know oh I'm so tired uh, but anyway I'm going to bed early tonight definitely because I want to make an early start tomorrow and uh, yes Stonehenge yay Stonehenge here we come oh man oh, I've been looking forward to this for a good while well like I said earlier on in the video that you know the thing is that it's not going to be cheap you know like I said 57 quid essentially you know what I mean so you know, just keeping my eye open <laughs> do you know what I mean so anyway uh, yeah so yeah uh, seven, uh, 57 quid uh, and I don't know uh, hopefully this will work out <laughs> No, I've got to do this, I've got to do it man. Uh, it's, almost get, it's almost like a pilgrimage almost, in a way. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a pilgrimage, definitely. Right, okay, momentarily guys.